So I was talking to Fletcher in regards to our Latinidad, like uh, sometimes it goes on the American side, sometimes it goes on the Latino side. We miss things. It's constant work. It's a lot of cultural balancing, Fletcher. And the, <laughs> the example here of We Are the World, obviously, everyone knows about it. Big anniversary, big doc coming out on Netflix. And the, the Sheila E uh, thing going on with Prince, that's like a lot of in our pop culture zeitgeist. But on that Latino side is that they did a Spanish version of this. I had no yeah. idea. <laughs> no idea. No idea, man. So I, I want to I wanna get into this from the latinoslam.com. You like that? Yes. <laughs> Can only get the story there. That's right. And yeah, make sure you are subscribed to our website, the latinoslam.com. Latinos in the greatest night of pop and beyond. Now, this is written by our uh, contributor, Alfredo Galindo. So he yeah. was saying this is go ahead yeah no he uh, he he really uncovered something on this because you know uh my sister was you know it's like a big music fan and i remember you know she was also a prince fan and uh when you you know she she had the tapes of this song and stuff and mostly you watched it and you're like yeah where's prince you know where's prince right no one was hotter at that moment than him may him, my mj and him right yeah and so, she like for us, you know, especially for her, she was in New York. So, you know, you're like, where's she like? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I was a huge all of them fan, Prince big time. I remember seeing him live around that time as a teenager and this coming out. So, um, Alfredo kind of lays the land of this Netflix documentary you can get more of that info, which is great. But then he goes into how there was a couple Latinos that were, you know, representing in front of Sheila E and then behind mm -hmm. as far as engineering Umberto Gatica and Umberto went on to win, uh, you know, awards for Celine Dion. My heart will go on all kinds of uh, Grammys. Right. But. They were pestering, they being Lionel and all them fools, were pestering Sheila E that night to call Prince up. Get him down here. And she said, yeah. I already knew he wasn't going to come because there was too many people and he would feel uncomfortable. Sheila E added, I told Lionel, I said, I'm, I'm going to go. They never intended to have me sing a verse, which was a little heartbreaking. Ah. Yeah. It's just shady. I mean, imagine this. You get invited to the party, and yeah. all the cool kids are at the party, but then yeah. you're told, no, no, no. See, what I really want you there for is, can you call your boyfriend? And see, because at the time, they were kind of like, you know, an right. item. You know, they had sure. that brief engagement and stuff like that. Yeah. But you're kind of saying, hey, can you get your boyfriend over here? And all you're told yeah. all throughout that time is like, hey, did you call him? Did you tell him it was cool and everybody's hanging fun? <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine it was uh, a thing where Prince just didn't, you know, just, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think he, he, he would lie to say that he was uncomfortable, but I think it's also too an ego thing with uh, uh, MJ and all those people in one room. But, he did eventually do uh, a video, a special video performance of a song for Live Aid. I remember right. that. Yeah. And I was so excited to, to see that. Um, I believe that that's for the tears in your eyes. I believe that was the song. I'm going to get that link to that song in the video box description, guys. Start commenting right now, you big Prince fan, Sheila E. Do you remember that time? Uh, I could uh, start singing so many Prince songs. But... <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I agree with you, man. You know that that that's kind of, that's that's a little bit of pop, you know, music history for you. And there on the red carpet for their documentary on the on this anniversary is Huey Lewis and Lionel Richie. I'm sure uh, he Lionel Richie did not deny what she Lee said. Right. So there you go. As well, there you yeah, go. Yeah. Well. So it's it's already kind of it's not like a, a rumor. It was it was something that obviously she was uncomfortable with, and obviously there were really pestering her hey can you get prince down here <laughs> now now alfredo and myself did a little digging did a little writing 
in regards to the Spanish iteration, can you give us a little rundown of this, Fletcher? Because this right. happened right around the same time. I guess it was one inspired the other, inspired the other. Yeah, yeah. So uh, from my understanding, this was uh, like a conclave of very uh, different and very uh, prominent Latino artists. Now, right. it ran the gambit. Almost every country was basically represented if you really want to look at it but right. um like we were talking earlier it, it's also you had um movie stars as I mean, we know them here you know right there right Who ricardo montavano is there right Khan. right yeah so it's like Khan had a music career <laughs> Khan, Khan, Khan also had the uh just kind of uh i mean look at that suit in that, in that, that shirt suit, man Ooh. He's Jeez. swagging. I mean, I, yeah. I I think I could pull that off. I, you know I think I mean? you could. I think you could. But, I, I would yeah, try. So, so go on. And because, you know, there's some, at the time, mid-80s, the biggest names in Latin America. Julio right. Iglesias. Yeah, Julio Iglesias. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, um, they had, you know, Jose, look, um, oh, my gosh. Um uh, you know, they had Brazilian artists, they, Pedro Infante right, right there, you know, with Jose Jose. Uh, you have like every country usually, uh, yeah, like everybody was represented. And like I said, also, um, a lot of these actors in the United States, people are not, you know, realized that in a lot of Latin American actors, they also sing most of the time. You know, they usually they you had know, singing careers in Latin they Spanish. Have, yes, correct. So. So most like a lot of international artists, they do have that singing career as well. You see Jose Feliciano there. Jose um, Feliciano. Yeah. And again, this is produced by Umberto Gatica as well, who did We Are the World. So it's right. all like connected. Go on. Right. It's all it's all the production. But these are like, you know, you could tell the the atmosphere is also a little bit different if you watch the We Are the World mm. one and you watch this <laughs> one. Good point. Everybody's Good having point. a great time here. It was like it's like a joy. You you see that it's almost you know a little bit like oh my gosh we're crazy people. But the the right. atmosphere. If you look at the video here in the American yeah. video, you see a lot of the you know like you know a little bit of the ego things. They're having a good time. But if you see the clips here, they're all holding hands. It's like a, yeah, it's amable. Yeah, oh my um, gosh, it's a really quick. These two young gentlemen at the time, Robbie Draco Rosa and Ricky Martin members of the time of menudo and they would go right. on to have prolific careers robbie rosa would write living la vida loca with desmond yes. child yeah so yeah i mean yeah. And, and you're right you know these guys and it was called hermanos right with right. the yeah yeah so sing sing brothers and right. hermanos being you know the plural meaning women and men because it's more right. of a hermandad, you know. This is right. this is a this you is know everybody. And, and, yeah, ex exactly. It's like okay. it's like mankind. Right. Uh, and another Prince connection. That's that's a uh, uh, Apollonia, right there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like le uh, uh, front and left. Yeah. If you guys you know watched uh, Yeah. If you got Purple Rain and stuff like that, you you, you saw mm -hmm. it right there. Such yeah. a gorgeous lady. I yeah. think she grew up in uh, San Pedro. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, gorgeous lady. So. Yeah, and you see also the the age range. You know, you have really older stars. You have younger uh -huh. stars. Everybody was having a great time. Everybody, you you know, oh, there's oh. all hues of the rainbow. Right. You know, and really fast like... to that Maria Conchita Alonso, and then look right over her right. shoulder. That's Celia Cruz. Yes. I mean, so I mean, like I said, everybody legends. represented from every country, basically. So the diverse mix much more prevalent in Hermanos than we are the world. Um, yeah, let's so. just, I'm just laughing at Ricardo Montalban just singing, oh, singing, yes. holding everybody's hand, holding Maria Conchoto, Vicky Carr. You know, Vicky all Carr. these people that are huge careers that took time out and obviously, uh, you know, became like a big big head i don't know how much was raised right uh, about this but i know that it was a big big deal apollonia um, again well and, the, and one thing i, I want to say all, as well you, i love that that you pointed that out there's maria conchito beautiful beautiful lady uh is that 
the connection to poverty and to people and to children starving, it's much more direct in Latin America than these, you know, than the stars here in, in the States. And, yeah. and even in England, it was much more of a kind of a disconnect. Let's let's feed those hungry black kids. Let's feed the world. <laughs> whereas yeah. here, whereas here, it's like, uh, yeah, this is I probably some of these people probably came from that abject poverty. What do you think? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely it, it was kind of like a thing, you know, is, uh, you know, as a kid, you when you're growing up. You know, in, in certain cities in Latin America, you can see kids, you know, living in garbage dumps because that's where oh, there's always food in the garbage dumps, you know, and wow. uh, it's yeah. it's in every country. Um, so the, it's more like you see there. You, everybody's like really connected. Everybody's there was it's yeah. very you don't really see egos, even though we're told these are the biggest egos in Latin America. But I mean. Vicente Fernandez, I mean, he's just right. there, you Chente. know. Uh, Chente, right. waiting his turn, but it's just like, look at right. that. Oh, there's Irene Cara. Rest yeah. in peace. Uh, Rest in peace. Look at that. But see, the, the they're having fun. Everybody's having a great time. They know what they're there for. It does is that seem. Domingo? Yes. Yeah, man. So obviously, and, you see, yeah. this is more. It hits close to home. You know, these are native. Oh, yeah. Correct. You know, yeah, this is for it's kind of like for us. Look at the kisses and the hugs, man. This is oh, all yeah. real. No, yeah. 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 Apollonia. Yeah. Lucero was just there. Yeah. Yeah. Have, and what we'll have to Fletcher and for you guys watching, we're going to have we'll, we'll find a link to kind of like uh, its legacy, how much they were able to raise all that good stuff, because uh, this is great music, pop culture, Latin America. But also, too, if you're fans of these artists. This is great music history. Yeah. That I didn't know about. I did not know about this song. I knew a lot of these artists individually, but again, on my American side, I was definitely more into, you know, we are the world and all that stuff. And I, Chente to me was always, a, you know, the guy with the big voice with the funny hat when I was growing yeah. up as a little kid, you yeah. know? So but there's kind of things, things less, you know, it's, like I said, it's it's it it drove it was everybody that you would see on television because yeah. a lot of people you know they only had a radio and a TV sometimes so you would see these people but you would hear more and they would have little you know music vignettes and stuff like that on the popular TV shows so yeah. having them all come together it's you know it's a huge deal it's it's I mean that's Cantinflas yeah next to Apollonia. I mean that that right. is crazy. Yeah. That is so bizarre. Yeah. You're you're crossing cultures, you're crossing continents, you're you know generations. You're yeah, whole uh, generations. I mean I mean you had Ricky Martin when he was like little kid, you know? Right. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is uh we'll have the link to as well of this song in this video and um the lyrics, uh, which are pretty beautiful right. and for you guys. For you guys, but we want to just connect you to that now that oh we got a, we got a little speech. Oh, what's Fontalban saying? Pido brindar amor y esperanza a aquellos que sufren miseria. Imagínense cuánto podríamos ayudar a nuestros países si ustedes también se unen a nuestro esfuerzo. Imagínense. Yeah. So imagine what we could do for our countries if we would all join together. You know. Right. Like I said, it was it's, it was a it was a big deal. You could see like everybody's mm -hmm. really into it. They they believe what they're doing will change, you know. And let's just say one last thing before we wrap this up and keep commenting. Make sure you are subscribed, all that good stuff. And if you're so kind, super chat here, PayPal, all that good stuff. But let's also mention, um, and this is this might be a little close to you, is um that at that time, a lot of Latin America, oh, there's a participant. There you go. Oh, I didn't see there you go. Yeah. There you go. Wow. Yeah, a, lot, a, lot of this time, a lot at this time, is that there was a lot of social strife coming out of certain countries. A lot of countries. A, a lot of countries. Argentina yeah. was just getting over a lot of like crazy what? stuff, man. Jose, yeah, Jose. Yeah. I thought that was Cheech. Dude, yeah. I, th yes. I thought I saw Cheech, Cheech Marin. He was there, yeah. 
He's way I forget this. I believe this was was recorded in the in the United States. Oh wow! So everybody had. Bimbinella was a huge group at the time. Uh, yeah, like right. all these from different different Judy. different countries. Yeah, I was mean Brazil was also on the complete strife, and they had uh, you know Roberto Carlos was there, uh, which okay. was big for him. You know, so like I said, it was it was a huge deal to bring everybody to the United States to do this. This is great. Uh, you know, it was it, it was it was huge. Yeah. Well, there you guys have it, man. Some uh, music history. Uh, we're always putting up great content on Latino Slant, the Latino Slant.com. Get over there. Um, subscribe to our newsletter. What we do once a week is that we send out a newsletter letting you know what we're doing, favorite stories, all that good jazz. Okay, yes. for Fletcher, my name is Polly. This is the Latino Slant. We'll see you on the next one. We are the world.